A few days after the Mate 60 and Mate 60 Pro, Huawei unveiled a new folding smartphone, the Mate X5. However, contrary to what its name suggests, it is not a new phone, but a variation of the Mate X3 that the firm launched in May 2023 and that we tested this summer. Is 5G the only change? In China, Huawei is enjoying excellent momentum. An interesting indicator to illustrate this trend. The brand increased its smartphone sales in China by 58% in the second quarter of 2023 compared to the same period in 2022. There are several explanations, but one of them is the launch of the excellent Huawei P60 Pro that we had the opportunity to test. To capitalize on this great trend, Huawei is focusing heavily on high-end smartphones. With the Huawei Mate X3 from a few months ago, we have evidence of this. This folding smartphone was the lightest and thinnest of the fold-type phones at the time of its launch. We examined it, and although though we identified a few flaws, most notably in the pricing, the overall outcome is positive. Especially since the release of the Galaxy Z Fold 5 was very close at the time. From the first moment, we realize a gap between what the name of the product suggests and the reality of its proposition. It is not a new product. It's a technology update. Indeed, there is practically no ergonomic and technical difference between the Mate X3 and the Mate X5. We find the same very thin design, the same two screens, the same 5060 mAh battery, the same charging power, the same photographic configuration, the same high symmetrical speakers, and the same finishes in terms of materials. The phone has a foldable 7.85-inch OLED display with a resolution of 2496 by 2224 pixels, and the screen is protected by Kunlun glass. The second display is OLED with a 6.4-inch resolution, 120Hz refresh rate, and 2504x1000 and 80 pixel resolution. Second difference, the configuration. The Kirin 9000s integrates 12 or 16 gigabytes of RAM, depending on the version, compared to 12 gigabytes in the Mate X3. And it comes with 512 gigabytes or one terabytes of internal storage. Last difference, the weight. It goes from 240 grams on average to 244 grams on average. The Mate X5's cost and availability have not yet been disclosed. But in China, marketing shouldn't take too long. So let us know what you think in the comment section. And if you enjoy the video, give us a thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe for more tech news. See you tomorrow. Peace out.